I felt like the world owed me happiness. It was like I carried this heavy weight on my shoulders, expecting the world to make me happy. Mike, a young man of 35, chased fleeting moments of joy, convinced that happiness was something external, something to be given, not earned. Disappointment followed him like a shadow. He felt cheated by life, frustrated that happiness remained elusive. The world, he thought, was against him. My days were spent yearning for a happiness that seemed perpetually out of reach. I felt like a victim of circumstance, my mind a breeding ground for resentment and dissatisfaction. The more he focused on his own unhappiness, the more pronounced it became, coloring his perception of the world and his place in it. He longed for a way out, a path to the happiness he so desperately craved. Little did he know, the answer lay not in external validation, but in the depths of his own being. Seeking solace and connection, I turned to the digital world, spending countless hours scrolling through social media feeds. He was bombarded with images of seemingly perfect lives, filled with smiling faces, exotic vacations and enviable achievements. Instead of finding comfort, Mike sank deeper into despair. Comparison became a thief robbing him of his self-worth and amplifying his feelings of inadequacy. Desperate to fit in and project an image of happiness I didn't feel, I started posting carefully curated pictures of myself smiling, attending social gatherings, and enjoying life to the fullest. The irony was palpable. Instead of bridging the gap between his online persona and his true self, his efforts only widened the chasm. His attempts to portray a happy exterior left him feeling even more isolated and alone. The more I chased the illusion of happiness, the further I drifted from its true essence. One day, amidst the noise and chaos of his life, a profound realization dawned on Mike. The world wasn't obligated to make him happy. It was a simple yet transformative thought that struck me with the force of a lightning bolt. This epiphany didn't come from a self-help book or a motivational speaker. It arose from the depths of my own being, a whisper of wisdom from my own soul. This wasn't a cause for despair, it was a call to action. The world, he understood, wasn't designed to cater to his every whim and desire. It was a neutral ground, a canvas upon which he could paint his own masterpiece. The world wasn't here to make me happy. It was here to make me conscious. Conscious of my own power, my own choices, and my own responsibility in shaping my experience of life. With this newfound clarity, Mike began to see the world through a different lens. He recognized that challenges, setbacks, and disappointments weren't personal attacks, but rather opportunities for growth and self-discovery. I started to embrace discomfort, knowing that it was often a signpost on the road to something greater. He realized that just as a sculptor chisels away at stone to reveal the beauty within, life's challenges were shaping him, refining him, and revealing his true potential. I learned to welcome the storms of life, not with fear, but with a quiet confidence that I possessed the inner strength to weather them. Each obstacle overcome, each challenge faced head on became a testament to my resilience and a stepping stone on my journey of personal growth. He understood that true change required action, a physical manifestation of his inner evolution. Mike's journey of transformation wasn't limited to the realm of thoughts and beliefs. I started exercising regularly, pushing my physical limits and discovering a newfound appreciation for the strength and resilience of my body. The discipline he cultivated in the gym spilled over into other areas of his life. As he pushed his body beyond its comfort zone, he noticed a parallel shift in his mental and emotional landscape. I became more resilient in the face of adversity, more patient with myself and others, and more determined to live a life of purpose and meaning. The physical challenges he overcame became a metaphor for the mental and emotional obstacles he was learning to conquer. Mike began to see his unhappiness not as an enemy to be avoided, but as a teacher to be learned from. He realized that often his unhappiness stemmed from resistance to what was, from clinging to expectations and attachments that no longer served him. 
I started to approach my negative emotions with a newfound curiosity, exploring the root causes of my suffering. This process of self-reflection wasn't always comfortable, but it was through confronting his pain that Mike began to heal. I learned to sit with my discomfort, to observe it without judgment, and to allow it to pass through me like a wave. This acceptance of his own humanity, flaws and all, paved the way for a deeper sense of inner peace and self-compassion. Mike came to understand that suffering, while unpleasant, is an inherent part of the human experience. It is through our challenges and hardships that we grow, evolve and develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. I realized that much of my suffering was self-created, born from the stories I told myself, the limiting beliefs I held onto, and the negative thought patterns I allowed to dominate my mind. By becoming aware of his thoughts and their power to shape his reality, Mike began to reclaim his innate power to choose happiness. I learned to challenge my negative thoughts, to replace limiting beliefs with empowering ones, and to cultivate a more positive and compassionate inner dialogue. Through this process, suffering transformed from a source of despair into a catalyst for spiritual growth and awakening. The power of now, stillness over storms. Mike's journey of self-discovery led him to the transformative power of presence. He learned that true peace wasn't found in some distant future or in reliving the past, but in the present moment. By bringing his awareness to the here and now, Mike was able to quiet the incessant chatter of his mind and find a sense of stillness amidst the storms of life. He discovered that the more he focused on the present moment, the less power his negative thoughts had over him. The past, with its regrets and what-ifs, faded into the background, and the future, with its uncertainties and anxieties, lost its grip on his mind. In the stillness of the present moment, Mike found a sanctuary, a space of peace and tranquility that had always been within him, waiting to be discovered. Finding true peace, embracing life's fullness. As Mike learned to live more fully in the present moment, he discovered a depth of peace and contentment he had never thought possible. This wasn't the fleeting happiness I had chased for so long, dependent on external circumstances and fleeting pleasures. This was something deeper, more profound and more enduring. He discovered that true peace wasn't about the absence of challenges or pain. It was about learning to navigate life's ups and downs with grace, resilience, and an unwavering belief in his own inner strength. He realized that true happiness wasn't about feeling good all the time. It was about embracing the full spectrum of human emotions, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and finding beauty and meaning in every experience. A journey of self-discovery and lasting contentment. Mike's journey of transformation wasn't about reaching some elusive destination of perfect happiness. It was about the ongoing process of self-discovery, growth, and the cultivation of inner peace. He came to understand that happiness wasn't a destination, but a journey. A lifelong adventure of exploring the depths of his own being and discovering the infinite potential that lay dormant within him. He still experienced challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt and despair but he no longer allowed these experiences to define him. He learned to meet life's challenges with courage, grace, and an unshakable belief in his own ability to overcome adversity. He discovered that true happiness wasn't about living a life devoid of pain or suffering. It was about learning to dance with life's challenges, to find meaning and purpose in his struggles, and to emerge from the storms of life stronger, wiser, and more compassionate. Your turn, choose happiness. Mike's journey is a powerful reminder that happiness is not something that happens to us. It's something we choose. It's a conscious decision we make every single day to focus on the good, to find gratitude in the little things, and to cultivate a positive and optimistic outlook on life. It's about learning to love ourselves unconditionally, flaws and all and to treat ourselves and others with kindness, compassion and understanding. The world may not be here to make you happy, but it is a fertile ground for you to cultivate your own happiness. The journey starts from within, 
from a shift in perspective, a willingness to embrace challenges and a commitment to living in the present moment. Start today. Choose happiness. As Buddha wisely said, happiness never decreases by being shared. Share your journey, inspire others, and together, let's create a world filled with more peace, joy, and fulfillment. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. Dalai Lama. For more content, please press the subscribe button.